he says he's not bored. He never gets bored because his mama plays with him all day. Watch a live stream of um, you. Hello. So I can say I went to Princeton. <laughs> Even if you go hide out in the bathroom, just take the take the coloring book with you. And hi everybody, it's Susie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a good one for you. It's 60 or 61 ways to break the boredom. Some really cool things you can do at home that will help break the boredom. Some things you probably have never thought about. Let's start with exercise. Try a new exercise class. Yoga, uh, bar, Zumba, that you can find tons of them online on um, YouTube. Yoga with Adrian is really good. Um, Pop Sugar Fitness is a really good one. And Strong 30, if you want to do a Zumba class, are all really fun. You can do them for like 30 minutes and you know, you just do them at your own pace. Clean out and sort your photos on your iPhone. Gosh, if you're like me, you probably have, I think I probably have close to 10,000 photos on my iPhone. So when you don't have anything else to do, you can go through those, those photos, get rid of some old ones and sort them into albums. Create some photo albums for friends and family using like Snapchat, Snapchat, uh, not Snapchat, Snapfish, birthday albums of the kids or Christmas albums or wedding albums. Put them into these little books and send them to friends and family and it'd be a really cute, great surprise for them. Um, number five, declutter your closet. Well, you probably all have done that already, but one thing you can do that's really helpful later on is to put outfits together, like put a top and pants and a purse and shoes together and put these in albums on your phone. So you could have like a casual album, you could have like a sexy album, you could have like a flirty album. And just when you need to go out and get an outfit together, you know, it's a struggle sometimes, to, you know, figure out what goes with what. I don't feel like wearing this, I don't feel like wearing that. And just pull this album out and you've got it all together. It's the best. Go through your kids' stuff. If you have kids and they're older, go through their stuff and get rid of things that you really don't want anymore. Um, um, next, write letters. I know this is probably like, oh, letter writing, who does that anymore? But you know, honestly, there's a whole community out there of people who love to get letters. There's um, letter writing for the elderly, letter writing for people in jail, letter writing for people who are depressed. And I'll have some resources linked below of places that you can go online and you can get addresses for people that would love to receive a letter. Along that line, um, write a love letter to your significant other and or maybe write a series of them and hide them around the house. So then after this is all over, one day when he or she gets to the bottom of their sock drawer, they find this little love note which I think would be really, really sweet. Everything is on sale now. If you go online, my gosh, I think I get two or three emails every day from Nordstrom, 60% off, 70% off. If you, if you have the money and you can, do some Christmas shopping now. That would be really great. And just store them until, you know, until December. Um, write a daily journal and just kind of capsulize what's happening at this crazy time. So when you have children or grandchildren or, um, you know, anybody, you can just keep it uh, as, a, as like a time capsule of something that happened that will be in the history books and you can have like a daily journal of it. It would be really cool. Next, learn a new language. You can go online to like Duolingo. There's some others and I'll have them all linked below. <clears throat> Make a list of all the places you want to visit so that again, when we are hopefully soon out of this craziness, you'll have your little bucket list, your list of things that you really want to do that maybe you hadn't had the time to stop and think about. Um, a couple of other things that I like to do is to, um, I use a, an app called Calm, C-A-L-M, and I'll, again, I'll link it below. Um, and every night I listen to an adult bedtime story, not like an adult, not like adult, adult, but like an, 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 a bedtime story for adults. Um, and I use it to meditate as well. So if you haven't tried that, that's really fun. Uh, watch the 10th YouTube video that comes up on your channel. Don't watch the first or second. Just for something different, watch the 10th one. Start your own YouTube channel. That would be really fun. It's a lot of work, but there's tons of YouTube videos on how to start a YouTube channel. So if you're really looking to, um, you know, to spend some time learning, that would be a great spot. 
Uh, organize your recipes if you still keep them you know some of them paper like you know I have a lot of my mom's old recipes and even my grandmother's um, you know get them organized put them together in an album so that you you and your children will have them for posterity's sake let's see what else um, choose a new hairstyle uh, and I'm ready for something new really kind of tired of this so, you know, I just thought I'd go through and look at new hairstyles, get, get a new color, get a new cut. So again, when that time comes, and hopefully soon, you'll be ready to, um, to get that new hairstyle. Along those lines, you might want to also clean out your makeup drawer, wash your makeup brushes, get rid of some of that makeup that you've had for a while and that, you know, you really don't like, or that you want to replace. Art projects. Um, get an adult coloring book. They're so much fun. They're really like very intricate um, designs and you can get either pens or pencils and it's just a really soothing kind of meditation, mindless thing to do, you know, for an hour or half hour or whatever. If your kids are driving you crazy and you want to hide out, even if you go hide out in the bathroom, just take the, take the coloring book with you and uh, spend a little time doing that. Um, or try finger painting or even oil painting. Um, try to knit or crochet. Write some thank you notes to people who have helped you along the way, even if it was years and years ago. Um, you know, we all have so many people we can thank. And when you really start to think about it, I'm, I'm sure there's many. And what a fun thing to get a handwritten note in the mail for getting thanked for something you did maybe years ago. Uh, watch all the best film Oscar winners for say the last five or six years. This is something that I do with my closest friends. There's about eight of us and every Thursday night at 7.30, um, 7.30 Eastern time, one, one of our friends is on the West Coast. Um, we have a virtual happy hour through Zoom and it's a blast. We do it every week and we really love it. Um, to attempt to do a self-portrait using a mirror. Think about how to write an e- or write an ebook. Um, everybody has something they're really good at. You know, sometimes it takes a while to tap into that and figure out what it is and share it online would be awesome. Uh, camp out in the living room. I think that would be really fun to create, you know, like when you were a kid and you made a tent out of blankets. Just kind of do that as an adult and have dinner in the tent. Um, make a cootie catcher. I don't know if any of you remember that, but it's like a little, a little paper fortune teller. Um, I'll put a link below about how to, how to make them. Those are really fun too. Go through your medicine cabinet and get rid of old expired medicine. Not really fun, but something that should be done. Have a host, a, a, a virtual wine tasting with, with friends. Everybody get a bottle of wine, maybe a different variety and um, you know, again, have a, have a Zoom meeting and talk about each bottle of wine. Um, work on your family tree using real stories from, you know, people, uh, real stories of real people. So not just their names and their, and how they're related to you, but some little anecdote about each of them that you can gather from your family. Uh, make a TikTok video if you, if you're into that. Um, Teach your dog a new trick. Learn a new dance style, maybe belly dancing or ballet or jazz, or I mean, it's crazy what you can learn online. Take an online typing course to improve your typing skills. Take an online baking course. Um, join a virtual choir. Those are po popping up every, everywhere and that could be a lot of fun if you can sing. Live stream the Northern Lights. I, I plan to do that. I'm actually planning to go to Iceland in June. We'll, we'll see if that happens, but I, I think that would be really cool to live stream the, the Northern Lights. And all of these things are online. I've checked them and I will provide as many links as I can. Take a virtual tour of the national parks. Get lost in a new podcast. Uh, up your home bar game with maybe a few new cocktail recipes. Uh, another one is to look at empty tourist spots through webcams, like, you know, like, like the Coliseum or, or the Spanish Steps in Italy, like places that would normally be so crowded are now empty, but of course the webcams are still up. Oh, there's my baby. Oh, there's my baby. This is back. He says hello. He says he's not bored. He never gets bored because his mama plays with him all day. Doesn't she? She loves him so much. Yes, she does. Sign up for an online free Ivy League course. I mean, how awesome is that? A couple of the ones that I saw are um, Intro to Classic Music and The Science of Well-Being. So I can say I went to Princeton. 
Um, ha host a Netflix party. There's an app on Chrome so you can watch together. A couple of really good ne Netflix um, series are um, the one about Amanda Knox and Making a Murderer. If you haven't seen Making a Murderer, it's awesome. Uh, something I really like to do when I get bored or um, just feel a little down is I just turn on reggae music. I turn on um, Pandora and listen to reggae and just crank it up and um, it just takes me to another place. We'll watch the Japanese cherry blossom disp display online. Well, you know what else you can do? You can play Pictionary with a robot online. I'll put a link to that as well. Unwind with an ASMR channel on YouTube. I don't understand the desire behind watching them, but I watch them and it's, it's a soothing way to watch people interact with items. I don't know how else to explain it. NASA live streams the earth. That's really cool. Watch a live stream of, um, you, hello, let's try that again. Watch a live stream of zoos and aquariums around the world. Uh, listen to free audiobooks um, or short stories. Learn to play the guitar. There's a um, Fender, if you know of, um, they make guitars. They are offering a three month, um, three months of free lessons, and I'll link that below too. Watch a free virtual tour, uh, ghost tours. Take a virtual pasta making class. That's what I'm definitely gonna do. There's an 84 year old uh, Nona grandmother Italian grandmother and she's a whole series of pasta making classes. I can't wait to try that. They aren't free, but I don't think they're too much and I'll link that too. And then if all else fails, just go do online shopping. Just go to Amazon and of course watch Tiger King. And that's it for today. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like this video and I will um, right here, I will put up um, a video of some ways to work from home and some new makeup that I've tried out lately. So thanks again for watching.